case studies covered in this book, Big Data Analytics, Share Experiences from Adidas, Flixbus, Piano, Villeroy & Boch, and the state of Tamil Nadu. Learn from the experience of Rajesh Kumar, Vice President for Merchandising at Adidas. Welcome, Mr. Kumar. I'm glad you are able to join us here in our TV studio in Ansbach. And uh, you are Vice President for Global Merchandising at Adidas. And you also look back at a successful career of more than 20 years in the retail industry. Now, how did digitalization change the way you did business in these years? Uh, thank you, Bernd. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, to answer your question, uh, digitalization uh, is changing the entire way we do business. And if you look uh, in the last two or three years, the digitalization uh, has brought uh, you know, tons of data available for business to use. And this was not uh, historically available. And the amount of data collected today is huge. So what I would say is digitalization today is collecting tons of data and this data if it's filtered can be effectively used for better business decision making so definitely digitalization is playing an important role uh, on collecting data and making business decisions in the future yeah everyone is talking about big data and big data analytics but in your case study you write uh, big data analytics is like uh, teenage sex everybody talks about it but nobody does know how to do it. So is this also true uh, in the merchandising? Yeah, I think it is true in merchandising. Uh, as, uh, you know, as, as a merchant, I, I grew up uh, using historical sales information. And this is uh, an information, uh, as a merchant, you know how to use, and it, you know exactly how to use it, and you have been an expert on using this. But when it comes to big data, uh, and the spectrum of analytics, then you really don't know because there is tons available. So you really don't know uh, how to use it, where to use it, and what to collect because there's a lot of fluff around mm -hmm. in this space. So definitely, I think it's same yeah. like teenage sex. You know, everyone is doing something, so I also need to do something. But you need to know exactly what to do to find uh, results and to use it effectively. So I would say, yes, it's the same analogy like teenage sex in merchandising too. Okay. Uh, in my book, I write about the three layers of big data analytics, like past analytics, uh, real-time analytics, as well as predictive analytics. And you use similar terms, but you call it hindsight, insight, and foresight. How does these um, apply to the merchandising field? Yeah, so w when I talk about hindsight, insight, and foresight, hindsight is historical sales information. So to predict uh, what you have to buy for the future season, you have used the mirror seasons data. And this is how you use hindsight in merchandising as an example. Insight, you're talking about trading decisions. So you look at trading what's happening on a Monday, Tuesday, and then make business decisions which can affect in the stores towards the weekend. And this is effectively using insight in merchandising. And these two spectrum, which is hindsight and insight, most of the merchants in today's world are specialists and they know how to use it. Now it comes the third spectrum of data, which I mentioned as foresight. And this is where big data plays an important role. So this is really understanding the consumers who not only shop with you, but who is around you and who are potential shoppers. And using foresight becomes more and more important in today's world for you to give a competitive advantage. Because the more you start using, the better you will be uh, in business. And that's why uh, using foresight in merchandising is important in the future. Yeah, excellent. In your case study, you also describe uh, the story of a, a store where basketball products are not selling well. Um, can you share a little bit more about this case? Yeah, sure. This is again hindsight, insight and foresight. You were using hindsight, which is historical sales information, to make a decision on the assortment planning of a store. And you have looked at historical sales and basketball always said it's three percentage of the sales. So you create an offer based on that data set and always you had a very small basketball section, which was not looking credible. Mm -hmm. And the consumers who were interested in basketball have always come to your stores and looked at it and said, oh, this is not good enough, and they were never excited. But you made that decision based on hindsight, which is historical sales, which is saying 3%. Now, imagine a world where you are using a new set of data, which I call it as foresight. 
and this is understanding the consumers around in that geolocation. And if that, that data clearly tells you that the potential is up to 10%, this gives you a data set to make a business decision saying that going forward, I will catalog basketball at 10% and the offer will be credible. And if you do that, definitely I think there's a potential because the data said there are consumers around and you will have a credible basketball offer and this will produce business results. So this is again uh, using a foresight for business decision making which will change, which will give you a competitive advantage uh, than others which use only hindsight information. Great example. Now you also mentioned that uh, omnichannel trading is one of the opportunities um, like if I'm looking at a soccer event, like a game happening on Saturday, um, and probably fans are purchasing like the, um, the shirts, and maybe they, they run out in, in the retail outlets, how do you utilize big data analytics and uh, omni-channel trading in such an instance? Yeah, here the trick is actually using uh, sales information on one channel to make business decision on the other channel. So take an example of e-com. So if you see a peak in trading on a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the consumers are shopping this maybe three, four days in advance because they want that product later because there's a delivery time as far as e-com is concerned. So consumers are taking that consideration of the delivery time to make that business decision. Now, if you see that, that effect, definitely that's going to affect your retail channel at a later stage, maybe towards the weekend and it will affect towards a Thursday, Friday and a Saturday. So if you are clever enough, you should be using one set of data, which is the e-com data, to make allocation decision so that you don't run out of stock towards the weekend because the peak which you have seen the e-com channel is mm -hmm. going to come towards your retail channel towards the weekend. So here the trick is using one channel information to make decision in the other channel and it can be very effective. And there could be different possibilities of using. I'm just explaining one, but the possibilities are uh, many uh, and you can effectively use that. Great. And um, how about social media analytics? Do you also leverage it uh, for your decision making at Adidas? Yeah, I think we have just started the process. Uh, today, social media is everything. A every business has to use social media because it's, it's, it's a must because there's tons of data available towards uh, your consumer. We have started that process. As I mentioned, it's foresight, understanding your consumer's needs and wants. Uh, from social yeah. media and there is tons available. So we have started that process of using social media. We're taking baby steps, there's a long way to go, but definitely we have started using social media to understand the consumer's needs and wants, as I explained, to make business decisions. Thanks for sharing your insights. And it seems like you at Adidas uh, leverage these innovations quite intensively. So good luck for your future. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, looking forward to how this whole big data will play in merchandising for the future. Because there's a long way to go and I'm really excited in this journey. Great. Thank you very much, Dr. Burnt. Thank you.